you can actually create a very simple deliberate rule. Monday to Wednesday is where my core work will go. Thursday, Friday is my exploratory work. Right? So in the early days, we used to say revenue, Monday to Wednesday, Thursday, culture. Now people would just take this and they would literally, you know, do full two days of culture. It's not the point, but the point is this. If you split your calendar this way, one of the best things is this. Um, in business, we have a lot of this. Business development requests. Business development request is a fancy word for something so kooky and someone's got some pitch that's so grandiose and 99.9% .9 of it's gonna result in nothing but a waste of your time. That's usually what business development is in reality. If someone has a business development thought, I'm like, how about like Thursday, if not Friday? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is sacred. It is time to make progress on core things you need to get done. And the reason why this is beautiful is this. If I'm going through the week and you know what, I'm behind goal, right? I'm behind goal, I cancel my Thursday meetings. I move them into Friday, I move them into the following week Thursday. But if you do this haphazardly, <coughs> here's what tends to happen. You come to work on Monday, that tiring weekend, right? I gotta catch up, what movies you watch, what you do, you're catching up for like half the day, I gotta get to work, right? By the time you actually gin up to get to work, it's like, lunchtime after lunch we start right whether it's sales calls or whatever it is then you wait till after lunch and then you're like god day's almost over why don't I just prepare myself to get going as of Tuesday Tuesday comes in well emails exploded someone else had an emergency now I'm dealing with other stuff someone asked for a random meeting they came in the hallway before I know I'm like the longer you wait whatever goal that matters in your core thing you're losing days so what happens when you lose days? When you have less and less days in the week to accomplish what oftentimes people get measured on is weekly goals. If you have no time left and you need to hit a goal, well, the thing that happens to all human beings is what we call desperation. You know what happens when you're desperate? You swing for the fences. There's no such thing now, and this is where the 17 meeting days come in. This is where, like, you know what? Even though you shouldn't make a decision, you know, I gotta catch up for the days I lost. I mean, can you, when I see salespeople doing sales calls, this happens a lot, where they wait and wait and wait, they have to hit their weekly goals starting on Thursday or Friday, oh my God, are they awful. In desperation, we all make bad choices. When you do it this way, you feel that's desperate. And I can't tell you how awesome it is to sit on an exploratory meeting when you know you killed it or did enough, at least for the week, on your core stuff.